let's start this little tour of the future with the American Legion Bridge. The bridge turns 60 this year, and it's our region's greatest choke point, according to the Northern Virginia Transportation Alliance. Now, we have a just-released final environmental impact statement for the future of both the bridge, as well as a portion of the Maryland Capitol Beltway and the I-270 corridor up to Gaithersburg. The bridge at age 60 is too far gone to be renovated. It would need replacement regardless of the outcome of this study, the environmental impact statement says. The plan on paper is a new bridge with 16 lanes. The three lanes in yellow would be privately financed and operated toll lanes, similar to those already in Virginia. And way over on the other side, looking down the Potomac towards D.C., would be a pedestrian and bike lane as well. That would connect to the CNO Canal towpath on the Maryland side. The feature was added after a flood of comments to two preliminary environmental impact studies that left it out. Moving north now on 495 up towards the 270 split, this portion of the Beltway would have two toll lanes in each direction with four general travel lanes in each direction for a total of 12 lanes wide. 270 from the Beltway out to Gaithersburg at 370 is envisioned as two toll lanes and five general travel lanes in each direction for a total of 14 lanes. Here's a rendering of what designers propose for that section of roadway. This is all part of a Maryland road widening project projected to cost between $3.75 to $4.25 billion. So much that Maryland Governor Larry Hogan's administration believes privatized toll lanes is the best way to finance a build. Opponents are calling this environmental impact statement and the project a fundamentally flawed boondoggle. Quote, Governor Hogan's highway privatization plan would have sky-high tolls, and would do great harm to our communities, climate, public health, parks, and historical sites, said Maryland Sierra Club Director Josh Tolkien. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.